Hey kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 2, Homework. And the objective here is to find the volume of a right rectangular prism by packing with cubic units and counting. So it's nice if you have your cubic units handy if you don't have anything uh, because you're at home and you don't have a set of these at home. I completely understand. I'll just show you a few samples to help you kind of wrap your head around this concept, but I'm just going to give you the answers uh, so you can check your work. Um, hopefully you already did this, made your best guess. I'll show you a couple of things that I help my students with. Uh, most important being on these that the height is this little piece here, um, and that is going to help you with your formula. So your formula for volume is length times width times height. And so the length and width are pretty easy to see, but the height on these folded out pieces, sometimes that throws people off. So anyhow, um, how many cubes would fill each box? So I've got a couple little models I could show you. Basically, when you see the area of the base, that is shaded. So the area of the base is shaded. That's going to help you figure out your length times width. So this is going to be a 2 by 2 right here. And then the height is that flap side piece that you're looking for. And so for the first one, it's just 1. 2 by 2 by 1 is 4. So I have a tiny little model, and I can grab just a few little cubes to show you. If you put the four cubes in here and you fold up the sides, that's what this is all about. It's about filling the box. And they say, you know, oh, tape it shut. Okay, so here is the box with the cubes inside of it and you fill up the flaps and it's only one cube tall. So you don't have that second layer of height. So that's why the volume here is only four because it's really just the four cubes that are sitting right on that base. The flap side, that's one. So two by two by one. And that's how we do these. Um, this is a three by two, length times width. So remember to use the volume in this order. This is the length, this is the width, this is the height. So set it up like that. Three times two times, what's the height? The height is going this direction. You only need one of them. You don't need to have the L. I'm just saying, hey, it's going to be the same on both sides because it has to meet at the top. So this height here is 2. I hope you can see that. 1, 2. And so 3 times 2 times 2, you can either do 4 times 3 or 6 times 2. Either way. Oh, and um, it's number of cubes here, not the volume where you have to label it and put the exponent. So you can just leave it with the number and you don't have to label it and put centimeters cubed. Uh, not yet on this one. And, um, and again, on this one, I can fill it with cubes real quickly because <laughs> fling, I can throw cubes around the room really quickly. Um, you can fill it and have six and then put another layer on top and then close the sides of the box. Fumble, bumble. And then close the sides of the box. Ta-da! And it's all inside of here. And so these 12 cubes, it's two layers of six. See the gray shading? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's two layers Tall. So it's fill the box. That's what this game is called. I'm not even going to try to do this one. Um, there you go. And uh, that's where you're going to get your answer. So again, length times width times height. You can do in any order, however you do it, but I usually just go length times width or across is my length. So I'm going to do three times four times the height, again, it's going out in that direction. In any order, you can do three times four first, um, and then 12 times two, and you'll end up with your 24 uh, cubes that would fill the box. So I hope you got those three answers there. Uh, how many centimeter cubes? I've got cubes everywhere. Enough to pick them up off the floor. 
How many centimeter cubes would fit inside each box? So this is nice and easy. It's only one layer. Again, thinking about what it looks like when it's one layer tall. There you go, sorry, that's crooked. Um, so what does it look like when it's one layer tall? Now I have a three across here, and then I have two here, and the height is one. Okay, so you can use your uh, formula as your explanation. So it can be a three by two by one. Here's your six times one, six cubes. You don't need to label it again. They're just asking about the number of cubes. If I have three by two here, but the height has changed to two for this one, then I have my three by two, which I know is six, but now I'm gonna multiply it by two and have 12. So the only thing we did between A and B was we added a second layer. For this one, they gave us a big building and they expanded it a little bit. So we've got four cubes going the lengthwise, two here, and this one is four. So it's a four by two by four in height. And either way, you're gonna end up with eight. So hopefully you know your eight times four is 32 cubes. Now at the bottom here, move my bells and cubes and papers and little block jackets. Okay, the box pattern, this is kind of showing uh, I like to think of it as plasticity of your brain or the ability to think outside the box. Oh, I'm funny. Okay, punny. Uh, the box pattern below holds 24 one centimeter cubes. Okay, 24. So you can use your formula, volume, length times width times height, show which one uh, each is. So let's say it's a three by four by two. Okay, now if you were to solve that, you would get 24 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we just did this, what they're telling you, and we're proving it with these dimensions. So now they want you to draw two different box patterns that would hold the same number of cubes. So what they're saying is the volume is 24, but how can you make 24 with other variations of numbers. And that's what this is all about. So um, how can you get 24? Well, we, you can't use three, four, and two again. So what can you use? Well, I know that 12 times two uh, is uh, 24. So can you break up your 12 into something else other than three and four? Yes, you can do six times two. So if you take six times two to get the 12 and then multiply by two, that's another variation, okay? How about um, another way to get 24 would be with like eight times three. So if I have eight times three, I have two times four to get eight times three. Eight times three is 24. So you're, you're showing your flexibility with thinking about how to build up and get a number like 24. 24 is a great number to work with because there are so many options. Could you do 24 times one times one? Yes, you could, but it would be a long skinny box. Um, and so they want you to draw the box patterns. So that's gonna be like all your shading. It just takes a minute to kind of lay it out. It's gonna have to be a little bit small. Um, but I could do like a six, I hope I can get this right. Um, six by two. By two. I feel like my edges are going to be. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six by two. And then here would be the outside two right here. And then you kind of, you have what you notice is like a plus figure on the sides because those are the flaps. Those are the flaps that you're gonna fold up. Okay, so you always wanna have a plus figure and 
make sure each of your pieces um, is matching the right number. So if you've got your shaded in the middle. So this piece here has our one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got to have your units. So be able to count the length times the width on the first two. And then the height is going to be that outside piece. Okay, so that could work for one of them. Uh, the two by four by three might be a little bit easier. So four by, let's do four by three. Like it should be a little bit longer. Oops. Three, not two. So three there and then split that in half for four. So you build on your four by three. Um, oops, and then you know what? And I did it with a four by three instead of uh, the length times the width. So I'm gonna change my formula since I just flip-flopped that around. Um, and if you wanted to do it uh, with your two here, then that's do, 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 one, two, one, two. And now we have our height for two, but we have four and then three. Kind of sketchy there. All right, so here's your four by three shaded two in height. So that can work. You just kind of have to fiddle around with some. You can still do the 24 by one by one. And again, that would be long and skinny, but I'm kind of out of room. So I hope this is very helpful. Lesson two, short, but kind of weird at the end. Really most important thing, thinking about how to build 24. Hope it was helpful. Click subscribe. Come back again. See you on the next one. Goodbye for now.